the sacred image. If I may call our actress, Yuri Gonzalez. Congratulations, Yuri. Yeah.
Um, it was a difficult search again for who to cast, although Derek finally agreed to be recast in the movie. Now the search for the new lady was the next problem. And then we did it in my mother's skin, and we worked together in another horror film, actually, which is a bad gun. So the, the director saw her performance in my mother's skin and in a bad gun, and he was very excited to work with her. So finally, we decided to cast Derek and Vicky in this um, project. So maybe it was a blessing in disguise that this will be happy with Gonzalez, right? Thank you. Speaking of Derek, tell us because I think this is the first movie in the five years, so tell us about it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know, Dina. <laughs> he really didn't want to go back to show business anymore. That's the truth. Um, I literally used the Nina card. <laughs> I said, Oh, I'm your lawyer, I'm your Nina, I'm your friend. <laughs> so you have to do this for me. So it was um a uh, slow process of trying to convince him and then when he read the script he said I'll do it. And I think it's also the power of Jojo Alonso. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking again about Derek, can you tell us how, how wonderful it was or how good it was to be acting opposite uh, somebody like Derek Ramsey? Ramsey. Well, at first, I thought it was because uh, a lot of us, uh, a lot of you know, um, I'm really close with his wife. I'm her best friend. So, parang <laughs> una. So, so sometimes when they ask me how do I feel, sabi ko na maybe you should ask my husband. Sometimes how does he feel? But you know, uh, by the end of the day, it's just we just work and it's just. He was really fantastic. He took care of me and Sam. He was such a gentleman. And he was really with, in the process of it. Like, uh, he talks to the director, he, has some, he shares his ideas, and he, he's also helping me getting into character. And, you know, I love working with people na, who likes to talk about the scene before taking it. Because, you know, it really it doesn't take only one person, but it needs the whole team to be a part of it. So it was a very awesome experience. And with Quantum, the whole production team really took good care of us. So we were just like playing with the set. <laughs> but you know what happened? You should have fun. But you can see the outcome. Another asset in the movie is the child actress. So, so wow, the piece was very good too. So uh, don't, don't you tell us too how you character and also give me how, how what, what it's like to have a valuable partner in something like yeah, Eric. Yeah, I, um, well, the original child actress again was different. <laughs> um, she was nine years when we cast her, the original um, child actress. So by the time that we were doing this film, she was already 13. So the role wouldn't fit her anymore. Um, she wouldn't be the innocent child who's so helpless and yet it turns out to be very evil. So we auditioned like 26 kids. I know it was more than 20, less than 30. And um, among them, there were three who stood out. Um, but when I looked at their features, one didn't look innocent. I mean, I, I couldn't see in her eyes the innocence that I was looking for. So um, finally, um, King, our director, and I, we agreed on Erin because um, uh, when she did her workshop with uh, with her acting coach, uh, she was really good. <laughs> but it was a difficult process because since we were working with a child, we had to have a psychologist on set, which is additional cost to Ruben. <laughs> so, but you know, we, we needed to take good care of her. Her mom was also on the set, and she's only seven years old. So. Um, after her initial scenes, even Derek said, where in the world did you find her? So I, I think we made a good choice in casting her because she exuded the evil and the innocence that we were badly looking for the child. And you really what was it like to have, you're a wonderful actress, so what is it like to have a, somebody a young like that to be acting opposite with? Well, it, uh, totoo yung mga sinasabi nila na mas natututo tayo sa mga bata kaysa sa ating sarili. <laughs> so, ang dami kong natutunan sa kanya. Uh, it was fun. Uh, I got to be very creative and 
um, she was really open with the experience and she's she's a bit older than me when she yeah. acts normal in life <laughs> so uh, she's really I know she's a happy kid and I'm very proud of her I see I see like she can do more in her in her career Malayo Malala thing yeah so now we open the floor to the questions from the audience anyone here let's start with Diane Jay Yes, and this question uh, goes to uh, Beauty Gonzalez. Yes. Well, congratulations with all your accomplishments. Oh, thank you. And um, how intense did you prepare for this character? I know you are very uh, comfortable in your soap operas. So how long did you prepare for this particular character? Come on. Uh, so hard. Because like, um, every role that I do, Maybe sound weird, but I have every perfume for that person, just to feel, to just to get into character. Because sometimes when you do in, in, in the Philippines, you do TV, you do media at the same time. So just with the scent of this person, I get back, I get back to her. Um, also, uh, I I ask a few people around. I do my own research. You know, uh, friends ko na wala mga babies pa trying to do those uh, surrogate or IVF or SRM. I do my own assignments and yeah, I try to do my own draft at the same time. I always consult with the director. Uh, I always trust my director. But at the end of the day, um, I am just an instrument. And you know, uh, I it, it's always nice that somebody will always help me with the process. Thank you. Next question, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Hi. Um, amazing film. How do you see this film contributing to the larger film and community? To the larger community. To the larger film community and like what it produces towards society in a different way that you use your art to describe a different way to show Care? horror. Oh. It it was it, it's it's beautiful. Oh, like you. how how would you how would you say that it contributes to to the new age of what that means for the film and community? Well, um, it's just actually a good way how to treat the film because most of the horror films you just have jump scares every three minutes every ten minutes, so it's just a repeated. Um, <laughs> and, and we wanted to do something different as always. That's what Quantum tries to do. Um, so in this instance, um, the background of our director, um, he married quite late, and his wife was also a little past the age of you know childbearing women. And the the normal question that was thrown to them over about seven, six or seven years, when will you have a baby? So they considered the couple they considered that question to be a horrific question. Because there's that um, enigma, there's that um, demand from society that you know every woman or woman has to get married, have a family, and if you don't have a kid or a child, you are incomplete, which is so not fair. So that, in essence, is a horror outside of the occult, the supernatural things. So we wanted to pave the way for a different um, approach that horror can go beyond the usual jump scares. Uh, incidentally, this film is the only uh, MMFM film that has been invited for competition in an international film festival. It will be going to watch uh, this week. Congratulations. If you have no questions, because actually it's 11, and we thank you for staying around. I see friends like people like Joe who stay, even though they have jobs tomorrow morning. So thank you very much for staying, and thank you, Beauty. And to Happy